Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video as always. I'm just out in the forest for a few hours, just having a, a coffee and a so far quite unsuccessful uh, hunt for um, some more mushrooms. But I just thought whilst I'm out here, I might do just a just a quick video on my first aid kit for those that might be interested. I've recently just updated a couple things in my kit so I thought I might as well just show you what's actually in it. I will finish this coffee and I'll find a flat spot on the ground, lay everything out and we can have a bit of a chat about what's in the kit. This is the kit, that's the size of it, I don't know if you can see. Quite a nice compact size. Pouch is from, I'm not sure how you say it, is it Mir? Mir Supplies. That's one of the new things uh, I just got. A nice robust pouch. The, the kit itself is largely based on Paul Kirtley's, uh, I think it's a wilderness, a personal wilderness first aid kit, I think he calls it. I'm obviously not a, a first aid expert by any means. But I am fortunate that I get quite a bit of training through my work. Uh, we do regular uh, sort of one day emergency first aid courses. Um, we also do the three day sort of more intensive first aid courses. As part of that we also get trained in the plus F element which is for forestry and essentially that means uh, dealing with catastrophic uh, crush injuries. Um, just your know, first aid in working in remote areas, um, covering things like Lyme disease from ticks and that kind of thing as well. So I'm like I say, I'm fortunate to have had quite a bit of uh, first aid training. Uh, this kit for me is it's a very general kit. Like I say, it's it's a personal first aid kit, so that first aid kit is personal to you, and this just, is just what works for me. But it's a kit for spending a day in the woods, a night out in the woods, multiple days out in the woods, uh, hiking, using knives, axes, saws, um, being up in the hills, uh, again, you know, being quite remote, uh, a few bits and pieces for the dog, just trying to cover the most common injuries I might get. But I'll open the pouch up just now and I'll, I'll show you the contents that are inside. This is the pouch from uh, Mir supplies i'll put a, a link in the description nice robust pouch uh double zip sealed uh sort of weatherproof zipper as well and opens out into a, a double double-sided pouch a couple pairs of disposable uh, gloves quite self-explanatory uh, we just got a roll of sort of plaster tape this is great for your feet if you're hiking a lot to stop the uh, you know sort of rubbing and that kind of thing this is a roll of i think it's vet wrap it's called so this is mainly for for Darek. it's like a self-adhesive uh just wrap um i mean i can use it too it's quite handy and it works quite well large wound dressing uh, again quite obvious you know if i'm using knives uh, especially axes and saws that kind of thing uh, I would recommend having one of those. Uh, underneath here, I've just got, uh, this is just some afterbite, you know, if, uh, if you're getting bitten by ticks or whatever, horse flies, you know, to stop it um, itching. A small bottle of betadine. This acts like a, um, it's like an antiseptic, so it's great for, for small cuts, um, you know, stopping them from, getting an infection, especially if you're out for multiple days, you know, a small cut, uh, which is maybe nothing at home, could become quite uh, quite an issue. Uh, a lighter, I've got several of these stashed in different pouches. Um, again, just some tape for dressings and things to hold them on. A 10mm uh, syringe here, just for irrigating wounds or eyes, that kind of thing, just to make it a bit easier. A whistle. I know it's technically not uh, first aid. I mean, this thing's this pouch has got a couple of things in that uh, I like to include just so I know I've got certain things for different situations. So yeah, a safety whistle if you're in a remote area and you get hurt, just trying to uh, attract attention. 
a large triangular bandage, another triangular bandage, a small cut kit that I just keep together. So just some waterproof plasters here, a couple of alcohol uh, sort of cleansing wipes, small mirror, quite self-explanatory uh, for you know if you've got something in your eye or I suppose you could use it for uh, attracting attention if you really need to. Uh, sort of blister pads again if you're uh, if you're hiking. I've got different sizes of uh, rolls of plasters as well for if you get sort of awkward cuts or something that the the standard size plasters doesn't cover. I've got some steady strips here just for holding sort of small wounds together if they're quite deep. Just disposable uh, thermometers are quite handy again if you're out for a few days. Um, you know, you can just, if you get sick, you can kind of check what's going on. A tick card thing, it's got a little magnifying glass on it as well, so that's quite handy if the ticks are quite small. These are just safety pins uh, for holding dressings together. And then uh, we just got a couple of, couple of tick twisters. So that's a kind of small kit uh, that I keep together. The reason I keep it in a separate bag is sometimes I might just want to take this little kit with me instead of the whole thing, so I can just grab it. Uh, back to the main kit, got a couple of uh, sort of um, iPad dressings, you know, finger dressings, these kind of thing, uh, non-adherent dressing, depending on uh, what you've done. So this here is what I would call a an Israeli bandage, that's what I know it as. It's kind of a you know a trauma dressing. Um, I'm sort of carrying this kind of thing if I mess up quite badly and I you know stick an axe in my leg or something like that, you know, just just to have something to help me in quite a serious situation. Emergency blanket, again, like I said, I could be hiking in quite remote areas if something happens. It's always good to have uh, this is a, a little bit of a backup. Uh, this is just some sort of cooling gel, you know, for small burns and things. Uh, like I say, you know, using stoves and having fire and all this kind of stuff, uh, I'm quite likely to sort of scold my hand or finger, that kind of thing. So that's just for that. And then this here is another small kit. Um, I'd probably call this like a, a medication kit, I suppose. I'll just move these out of the way a bit slightly so I don't get all mixed up. Um, yeah, just different medication. So, uh, what's this? Like diarrhea relief. Again, some of these are for if I'm out on multiple days and you're not near anywhere to get medication easily. Antihistamines. Uh, yeah, ibuprofen and paracetamol. I've got sort of uh, some rehydration um, powders some water treatment tablets that I just happen to keep in here a few paracetamol as well here are, I can't remember what the name is but they're for uh, basically for the dog so if he um, say he catches his nail or something and he's bleeding quite bad you can you can apply this solution to them and it kind of uh, clots the blood you know to stem the stem the bleeding they're just handy to have this is just a plastic bag for whatever you need a plastic bag for, to be honest. I've just got a, I don't know if you can see that, it's just a, a small card with the, the details of the, the medication. Again, if I'm out for, for several days, just to keep myself right on how much I can actually take, and I've just laminated this so it uh, doesn't get sort of wet and, and ruined. Sometimes I'll include uh, trauma shears in here, I, I always have a knife with me, whether I'm going to the hills or the forest or whatever, I always throw a knife into my bag. I've always got a small knife in my pocket, but sometimes a very sharp blade isn't ideal for the situation. So um, I'll put trauma shears in my kit just in case. Another handy thing to have is tweezers. I don't actually have them in the kit. I have them on a sort of keyring in my pocket. Uh, these are um, Uncle Bill's sliver grippers <laughs> this is a just a small uh, splint 
and if I'm going if I'm going quite remote or up into the hills I'll take this with me again not always just for myself if I come across someone else who's injured and this just helps keeps uh, arms and legs straight you can you can double it up or you can have it to the full length and it's basically designed to it bends very easily this way so it would go around your arm but it doesn't bend so easily like this way it's quite stiff um, it's hard to kind of show on the camera but once you fold it up you know it's quite it's quite rigid uh, so that helps keeps injured limbs in place if you have to and then obviously you would put your arm in there and then use something to sort of wrap around it to, to hold it on and I mean I could use this for the dog as well uh, you know if he injured his leg and it's going to help him to keep it uh, straight you know I would use this handy thing I usually take especially if I'm again if I'm going remote or up into the hills it's just a small uh, storm shelter I'll just throw this in my bag and this is designed to to just kind of throw over yourself uh, if you're caught out in the elements with no shelter you know there's no trees or anything around uh, you just throw this over you you can get yourself a break from the rain the snow the wind whatever's going on and this one's big enough to just throw over myself and the dog uh, or even if you've just you know say you've twisted your ankle and you're waiting for help uh, you might have to wait a while again just you know throw this over yourself and uh, give yourself a break from the from the weather it might help a few people out give you a few ideas about what to include in your own kit if you have just bought a standard kit from the shop and thrown it in your bag uh, to sort of tick the the box of having a first aid kit I would recommend you go and have a look at that kit just familiarize yourself with what's in it uh, maybe add a few things because they very they are very basic kits usually just a, a bandage and a few plasters you know maybe that works for you uh, but maybe it doesn't but it's best to know what's in the kit before uh, before a situation comes up where you need it. I'll leave some links in the description to some of the stuff I've talked about and I will hopefully see you on the next one.